Good morning all, it's post bag. Probably a bit too soon after the last post bag, but I've got a few items through here and they're all from the UK. So I thought I'd do a UK special. Right, first up this one and it's got some nice stamps on it. Have a look at these. It looks like a couple of shepherds, but what's that big red splodge down there? That's a bit of a worry. Yeah, I'm sure there's a perfectly good explanation, but I don't know what it is. So this is from a UK seller and it is these things, um, crimp fork terminals. Yes, it's the fork terminal saga in my crimps box, which is here. Um, I've got all these crimps, which I bought mm, some time ago now from Rapid Electronics. And the one I use mostly, which is this one, <laughs> I've kind of got one, actually I've got a few others, but there, yeah, there's one left. So this is the terminal. It's a KS 1.255L. Now the five at the end is, it's a five millimeter span between the two forks. The 1.25 is actually the hole in the end. It's a particularly small hole. So it's good for the sort of gauge wire that I'm using. It actually mentions there 22 to 16. Uh, I think that'd be AWG probably. KS is KS terminals in Taiwan and it's a really nice quality one really thick but rapid electronics have discontinued these oh really annoying so I can't buy any more so I bought this 420 crimp terminal set um, on eBay from China and well it's just completely horrid I mean these things are just wafer thin I'll show you them close up yeah, I mean, look at the metal. It's just ridiculously thin. There's no strength in these. This one's not even stamped with any markings. And because it's thin metal, you get this whopping great hole in the end, which is no use to me. That's not going to sort of guide in my nice fine wire. No, these are, these are awful. And then I got these on eBay. I mean, they were very cheap, supposedly 4.3 millimeters between the forks, although I suspect they're just uh, four millimeters. Um, insulated and of course oh come on what's going on with the focus and I mean there's really no problem with insulated um, oh a satisfying squeak um, because you can just rip this off and this makes another really <laughs> satisfying squeak when you pull off that insulating thing and that's what I want I want it uninsulated and search as I might on eBay I just cannot find uninsulated forks which are the quality of those original Rapid Electronics ones. So then I thought UK seller, maybe they've bought them from a UK supplier. Oh, I didn't cut that enough, did I? And uh, these are going to be reasonable quality and they don't look too bad. They look a bit thicker than the horrible Chinese grade ones, but I, don't, I still don't think they're quite as good as the original Rapid ones. Let's look at the thickness. Well, in terms of the thickness of the metal, they're not bad. It does mean that there's a, a nice size hole in the end, but they're just not quite as round as these original KS terminal ones. They're not quite as thick. And when you look at them face on, well, they're just not as substantial. One's slightly behind the other one there, but no, I still haven't found anything quite the quality of the original KS fork terminal. And do they squeak satisfyingly? Oh no, they don't. No squeak at all. Oh, a little bit of a squeak. Oh, these are hard to get off. Yes, they squeak and they do come off. They'll have to do for the time being, but the saga continues. So these are M5, that's a metric thing. Red insulated, which of course you can remove. Fork, spade, crimp, terminal quantity, 100. Uh, these were £3.45p. That's about $4.50. Uh, free shipping. And these came from M's Chloe. Wife and daughter. Right, this next one is from John Norton. Now, I haven't actually bought this. Um, this is something that John has sent me. And I think it could be very interesting. Let's have a look. We've got wires, we've got components, through hole and surface mount. We've got a little circuit board in there. Oh, and we've got lots of documentation. 
so what is this well this is a set of parts a kit of parts for the pwm5 pico high efficiency solar charge controller kit yes john has designed his own circuit board and made a ever so slightly bigger than the femto so he's called it pico version of the pwm5 solar charge controller he uses the same pick obviously the uh, 12f683 same mosfet the irf3205 here are the tantalum capacitors and all the other bits and john's own design board now the thing he's done differently from me is he's put uh, through holes on the ends of the board for soldering in these wires so he doesn't attach the wires directly to the legs of the mosfet as i do he actually uh, solders them onto the board so that's slightly different uh, the other thing is that the mosfet on here sits across the top of a bunch of components so you have to solder it in and then sort of bend it over and have it floating above these components interesting uh, there's an introduction here there's quite a lot of stuff here about the led flashing modes and how to interpret the flashes as voltages it's easy a uh, picture of the parts we've got uh, a bom bill of materials uh, some assembly instructions and actually down here we've got uh, an email address that you can contact john on uh, pwm5 kits uk at yahoo.com what else we got uh, pcb layout drawings a thing about the led how to make that mosfet sit over the top of the microcontroller the schematic that looks pretty familiar and uh, a picture of the wires and the bits of heat shrink that you get in the kit awesome so thanks very much john norton for sending me um your kit this is going to be a really interesting thing to build um kit builds so uh, i'm going to do a kit build video carl and of course no ebay listing for this um i'm not sure whether john wants to put these on ebay or quite how he's going to distribute these kits um i'll have a word with him and find out okay next up is this one uh and now this one came from eco lux shop and i have started to open this already but the experience of unboxing what's inside was so delicious that i thought you'd want to share it with me so let's have a go um this is a card and it's all about um lithium cells and that's actually what's in here a couple of lithium cells but the box is just exquisite look at this um these are efest they're imr 14500 so these are the cells that are approximately the same size as an aa this is a aa nickel metal hydride uh, and a loop but let's unbox this so ooh, that's not good so let's take out open this box and inside this box are two further little boxes <laughs> i mean how beautiful is that so let's open this box and inside this box is the 14500 cell so here it is it's an efest it's an imr uh, 14500 oh we got an official uh efest oh scratch and check do you think i dare scratch and check um it's a 650 milliamp hour uh cell 9.75 amps 10 amps this thing's good for uh 3.7 volts nominal now you'll notice that this is only 650 milliamp hours and these are 2000 milliamp hours why the difference well the voltage of course this is only uh, nominally 1.2 volts this is 3.7 volts so in terms of total energy stored they're probably well no this is going to have a higher energy density because it's lithium but isn't that beautiful and isn't the packaging just truly exquisite let's take this one out my fingernails just don't seem to be digging in do they these are just beautiful so why have i bought these well i've just got a torch from through night which i'm going to do a review on i'm going to do it on my julian's reviews channel not on this channel because there's not going to be a lot of technical content so it's just a review but that torch takes either an aa um nickel metal hydride or presumably an alkaline but it can also take uh, a lithium with its higher voltage and produce a, a higher output 
if you use the lithium cell. So I wanted to get some lithium cells to make that review a little bit more interesting. But I do have to say that I think this is the most exquisite packaging I've ever seen for something I've bought. They're just beautiful. Let's have a look on eBay. And here's the eBay listing. We have two times eFest 14500. Um, what is that? That's 14 millimeters diameter, 50 millimeters length, isn't it? 3.7 volts, IMR 650 milliamp hours, 9.75 amps. Lithium flat top hydrogen genuine battery. Two pieces, uh, remember, for £7.99. That makes them about £4 each. Free shipping, and these came, of course, from Eco Lux Shop. And so these are today's UK specific post bag items. Uh, big thanks, as usual, to my sponsor, JLC PCB, who make uh, my YouTube experience so much nicer. And also, of course, thanks to uh, Patreon supporters. If you want to become a Patreon supporter, click here. A couple more videos up here if you want to watch more of my stuff. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, you really should be. Click this link here. Cheerio.